Before we formally jump into the video, I need to ask you guys. Asuna? Neru? Harden. Which of these money girls are your favorite? Why I ask this is because like out of the three, I actually prefer Karin the most. And typically speaking, I don't prefer Karin's aesthetics. However, of these three units, I, I actually think I prefer Karin the most. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me know down in the comments below. However, with that being said, Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace. Today we are doing a blue archive video and we will be covering the next two events, Neverland as well as the Bunny Chaser. And the reason why I am going to be covering the Bunny Chaser so early is because there is a little bit of preparation that you need to do to kind of like maximize your rewards. And so without further ado, let's jump into the first event. So we have the catch in Neverland and this is a cute little event. It's going to be featuring, we've got the casual Saya, we've got the Shun and then we've got like the little mini Shun. like. Where's the mini Shun? <laughs> but to be honest, you guys should already know this variant of Shun. Like, look at her, she's so freaking precious. Anyway, let's get back on track on the event. So this event, Catch in Neverland, is going to be very much like the other events. I'm just gonna talk about like the nuances and kind of gloss over the stuff that most of us already know. And if there are some things that you don't understand, then you should head on back over to my previous video. I think it's like the Summer Hina event to learn how to maximize your drops like from the event currency. So I'm talking like these ones over here. For this case, it's the mushrooms, it's the bamboo shoots and it's a ginseng. Okay, and so with that said, I'm gonna pop back up over here. And so these are the bonus rate characters that we have. However, this is going to be a given. I do want to talk about something that's a little bit more important, which is these guys up here, Kotori, Pina, and Chise. So as many of you already know, we can farm character shards from a lot of the events. In this event, it's gonna be Kotori, Pina, and Chise. In terms of priority, I want to say it's probably the reverse. It's Chise and then Pina and then Kotori. I personally think that Chise is probably one of the the best AoE blue units right now still. I, I actually can't even think of another one that is AoE. And so she says utility, especially in story mode where you need a lot of AoE mob clearing capability, she is still quite important. As for Pina and Kotori, actually I'll show you. This one's Pina and this one's Kotori over here. Pina is an exceptional unit, especially when it comes to Chisette. However, most people, if not everybody, should have a really, really strong Maki now. And Maki essentially takes Pina's spot. And so yeah, unfortunately out of these three units, we got Kotori, we got Pino, we got Chise. I would say Chise is probably the only one that's like truly worth farming. However, for those of you who actually know me on a little bit more of a personal level, you'll know that I am a completionist. And so I'll be farming all 50 anyway. It doesn't even matter. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I just like five starring all my characters. That's it. Okay, so moving on. The next thing I want to talk about is the drop rate. So these all parts drops. I, I don't know if you guys have still gotten over like our first event where everything was dropping like at a crazy rate. All I can say about this is that that's never going to happen again again, I think, and we are having nerf rates from here on out. However, these rates are not as bad as the Summer Hina event that we just had. And so in this event, we will be able to farm the Rohonks, we'll be able to farm the Nibron lenses. I'm pretty sure we have a load of them, the Crystal Honeywas, as well as the Voyniches. And as always, plan out your farming and your materials, especially based on something like this, where this is going to show you all of the different materials that each of your characters use. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I am like super, super overloaded on the Nimrod lenses as well as the wolf eggs. And on top of that, the Crystal Honeywas as well. So go check your inventory before you go ahead and just like spam these stages. All right, so moving on, we have these shops over here. So same kind of scenario over here. Like for me personally, lesser enhancement stones, all of these enhancement stones, I actually am just like completely overloaded. So in my estimates, I would be looking at the black bamboo shoots and I'd be like, okay, well, I'm going to farm a lot less of these and just farm more of the other ones. And then actually, this is a really, really important point. For the past few events, I've been dumping all of my stamina into these event stages and I'm I'm starting to think that that's not really the right thing to do. And it's not the right thing to do because I'd actually been skipping like the hard mode for Iori, the hard mode for Haruna, hard mode for Shiroko, for Hoshino, for all of these really, really important characters that we need to be farming. And so if you are in a situation kind of like mine where you don't need these lesser enhancement stones or whatever, and you might not need like these Haniwa crystals, then you could consider only clearing the shop for all of the other things and then just like dumping the stamina into those hard modes. Because like, I don't know about you guys, but there are a lot of people, especially in my brand, for PvP who have the 5-star Harunas. They have the 5-star Hoshinos. And then it was when I saw that, I was like, wow, wait. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm kind of behind. So yeah, that was a mistake that I was making. I was just dumping a whole bunch of stamina to like farm things that I honestly don't need. Okay, and so that is the event shop. Otherwise, we've got the achievement missions where we're going to be getting a whole bunch of piracy and as well as credits. Very, very nice. And then last of all, we do have master rewards for the secret tech sheet at 10,000 event points. Now, I'm really hoping if you guys remember from my last Summer Hina video, there was a spreadsheet that had macros in it. It actually just like planned out, oh, you should farm a... You should farm stage nine about 600 times. You should farm stage 10 about like 40 times, etc., etc., based on your personal goals. So yes, this is a public service request to life. Please help us out and make that macro again for this event. It'll be very much appreciated. However, with that said, I think that is going to bring us to the end of this Neverland event. And so next, I want to talk about the Bunny Chaser event, because like I said, again, there are some nuances, there are some new mechanics as well as returning mechanics. And this event, my guys, is one of the first times, I'm pretty sure it's the first time ever where we are actually able to farm for three-star units. But before we get there, let me bring you guys back up over here. Okay, so there are a couple of nuances with this event. First of all, there are no OO parts materials. Sorry, if you guys remember from like where I keep bitching about the drop rates, like these guys over here, we can't farm these. So what that means is that if you actually do need any of these, you better be farming it like in this upcoming event because the chaser event, the bunny chaser event is not gonna have it. The next mechanic I wanna talk about is something that is returning, which is the buff option from the Ivan Kubala event. So if you guys have played through that one, essentially there were like three options it was like oh give your team 10% attack give your team 10% uh, dodge or cripple your team in exchange for more event currency obviously you pick crippling yourself because I don't know like the bonus currency sounds good but I also like crippling myself so that should cover that one over there next I want to talk about these which is the chocolate coin the rabbit sticker and the boarding ticket and with these currencies I will show you guys really quick this is the shop that we will be access to and with these currencies it will allow us to gain access to these shops uh, we've got the rabbit sticker shop we've got a boarding ticket and we've got a dice down here uh, very very interesting I will show you guys why there is a die down here but there is no chocolate cookies or whatever that was but just have a quick look through all of this activity reports. We're going to be farming all those all day. We've got the Blu-rays all day. Now, after those two groups, we actually have this material, Antikythera Mechanism Piece. I would highly, highly suggest farming this one. And then on the other hand, we've got the Millennium Tech Notes and the Phaistos Discs. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I am so overloaded with these guys. And then finally, coming down to the dye shop, we have Arsenal Fragments with the Pyro Scenes. Like, as you guys know, it's in your best interest probably to actually clear out this entire shop. Maybe like you could probably skip out on some of the lower credits, but I would probably clear out all of that. All right. And so the next thing I want to talk about is the chocolate coin. So if I come back up here, you'll remember that I talked about this thing. Now, this chocolate coin is exceptionally, exceptionally important because what it does is it allows you to pull event cards. And so if I scroll down a little bit, these are the event cards. You can see the Bunny Karen, Bunny Neru, et cetera, et cetera. You've got SSR. You've got SRs and then you've got Rs. I'm pretty sure the gray ones are actually classified as Ns as well, but correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, what I want to bring your attention to is this guy over here. 12 to 8 Karen fragments from the Karen card, which is utterly insane. And then if I quickly go through the other ones, we've got the Neru fragments over here and then Karen and Nerus and then Nerus and Karens where like they're kind of like skewed towards one or the other. So after all of that context, it should be very, very clear as to like what is the real prize of this event, right? The real prize being you can actually farm out an entire Karen or you can farm out an entire Neru or potentially both or potentially neither if you didn't prepare for it, which is where I'm getting out with this. So if you do actually want to take advantage of this event and try to farm out a Karen or a Neru, like I don't know about you, but I have neither of those two characters, you're going to want to have as much stamina as you can to farm as many chocolate coins as you can. And so I'm gonna show you something real quick. Remember my dudes, how we have these lesser energy drinks and the normal energy drinks in the tactical challenge. Now you can see my balance is 1637. However, this tactical challenge shop, remember that you can actually refresh it down here for a low cost of 10 of these coins. And so what that means is that every single day you could have an extra 90 stamina four times because you get once and then you refresh once, you get it again, refresh second time, get it again, refresh a third time and get it a fourth time. And so what that means is that every single day, if you do max refreshes on this store, which is completely earnable because it's tactical challenge, which is your PVP, you can get an extra 360 stamina every single day just by using the system if you bank up all of these coins. And so the event itself runs for, I believe, 13 or 14 days. So if we take 13 or 14 times 360 coins, you're gonna be wanting almost 3K coins. And so it's up to you guys how you wanna to manage to get that 
3k like I am still quite far off so I might skip a few days of purchasing these just so that I can use them on the current event. There are some optimal times to not purchase these so I'm talking about when like 2x events aren't on for like your normal as well as your hard stages. So realistically speaking it's optimal to not buy these during like only bounties I think. Okay and so that said let's hop back over to this one over here. There is one more thing I do need to point out though and it's that even by refreshing that tactical challenge shop for those lesser drinks there is a pretty high chance that you're still probably going to need to refresh your stamina just like a little bit of gems it's not overly much to be able to actually fully farm out the Karin or the Neru and just to be very very clear this is normal Karin this is the normal base copy of Karin you can't farm the bunny Karin okay all right and so with that being said that is going to bring us to the end of the video so I do want to leave you guys with a secret question out of all of these bunnies, which one is your favorite? You got the Karin, you got the Neru, you got the Asuna, you got the Akane, who actually is not playable yet. So my guys, let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving a comment, thank you guys so much. And if you did enjoy this video or found it kind of helpful, then please consider a like, a subscribe, and a notification bell on. But otherwise, as a bunny Karin once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.